Ooh, I quiver with fear. Wow. What am I gonna do? Run away, Simba. Run. Run away and never return. You're Mufasa's boy. I just hear that name and I shudder. Mufasa. Ooh. Hi. Mufasa? Simba? A bunch of dead guys are watching us? Danger. Ha. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel simply awful. Out of the ashes of this tragedy, we shall rise. Why should I believe you? Everything you ever told me was a lie. My little secret. It's not true. Tell me it's not true. Whenever you feel alone, just remember, look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. And so will I. I didn't mean for it to happen. Tried my of heart. course you didn't. It's my fault. But I no one ever means for these things to happen. If it weren't for you, we'd still be alive. Oh, light, and then you left. 
You said you'd always be there for me. And I cried at the knife inside my But you're not. And it's because of me. What did I ever do to you? He died a long time ago. To deserve nothing from You don't even know what I've been through. I would if you just tell me. You liked playing your game. I don't want to talk about it. It's true. No one needs me. Nobody has to know. Scar told us about the stampede. Not unless you can change the past. Yes, the past can't hurt. But the way I see it, you can either run from it. Next time I hope you'll think. Or before you learn from it. You know about that? Simba, everybody knows about that. Life's not fair, is it? You see, I, well, I shall never be king. <laughs> that is my son and your future king. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. Oh, no, Mufasa. Perhaps you shouldn't turn your back on me. What are you supposed to do? Kill Mufasa? Precisely. I've really missed you. I've missed you, too. And you... shall never see the light of another day. <laughs> Simba, let me tell you something that my father told me. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. The king is dead. It's not true. Tell me it's not true. If it weren't for you, we'd still be alive. I am the king. He let the hyenas take over the Pride Lands. What? Everything's destroyed. I wouldn't dream of challenging you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Oh, must this all end in violence? Well, as far as brains go, I got the lion's share, but when it comes to brute strength... I'm afraid I'm at the shallow end of the gene pool. What am I going to do with him? Kill him. Tell them who is responsible for Mufasa's death. Just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. I am. He admits it. Murderer. You're guilty. No, I'm not a murderer. Here's my little secret. Murderer! The African Savannah, an epic landscape home to an endless diversity of creatures, plants, and beauty. From the minuscule to the massive, and everything in between, every living beast serves its purpose. 
This sacred land is delicate, dangerous, and divine in every way. But hidden within this vast ecosystem is a plethora of secrets we are yet to discover. Plants providing life, herbivores grazing the scene, and predators maintaining control of the population. Everything we see exists together in a delicate balance, keeping the surrounding life so perfect yet also unpredictable. The seasons that thrive are no different, bringing unimaginable rains and unbearable suns. The land blossoms with each sunrise, painting breathtaking sights of greens and flowers as far as the eye can see. Animals living in harmony together, sharing the same love for their delicate home in the water, ground, trees, and air. Insects crawl through every nook and cranny of the earth. Antelope, gazelles, and zebras gallop and harvest the freshest greens. Warthogs and meerkats devour the grubs in the shallow dirt. Elephants parade and browse through the foliage, making their mighty yet gentle presence known. Giraffes tower above all to reach the leaves of the tallest trees, overseeing the never-ending landscape. Lions hunt the meek and massive, staying hidden in the shadows and tall brush to ambush their next meal. And hyenas scavenge the scene, seeking scraps and sabotaging even the stealthiest killers. In order to survive in this strange domain, you must be clever, quick, and cunning. One wrong movement can mean the difference between life and death. The weak must be removed for the strong to thrive. The wettest wets and the driest dries subsist without warning shaping this habitat and challenging those to nearly unlivable conditions. It is ghastly and cruel, yet fundamental for this landscape to continue to grow following every sunset. Although the ecosystem may sometimes seem chaotic, it is the irrevocable and unforeseeable manner of every element that keeps the circle of life alive and well. A king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. One day the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. That is my son and your future king. We are all connected in the great circle of life. King Mufasa's on his way. We're going to kill him. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. Who are you? It's me. Simba? wonder what those sparkly dots are up there? Somebody once told me that the great kings of the past are up there, watching over us. You said you'd always be there for me! But you're not. Look inside yourself, Simba. You are more than what you have become. And that means you're the king. Look hard. 
You see, he lives in you. You don't know how much this will mean to everyone. It's okay. We've really needed you at home. You're our only hope. You're Mufasa's boy. He died a long time ago. You're back from the dead. Mufasa, you're alive. How can that be? He's, he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> it is time. The king has returned. We're with you to the end. Just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Tutorials, it's Danny, and welcome back to my channel. Editing is everything. So that wraps up this week's trailer, The Lion King, but in seven different genres. Before we get into the behind the scenes, I just want to say that this trailer was supposed to come out before VidCon, like the week before VidCon, but I got really busy with a bunch of personal stuff, which I will talk about in a few weeks, and a lot of stuff has been going on. <laughs> One big thing is that I got engaged! Look how sparkly that is. I love it. It's perfect. Also, pay no, <laughs> pay no attention to those boxes back there. Uh, some big news, I'm moving in a few weeks. So I will have to say goodbye to this room and this set and create a whole new set in just a few weeks and that'll be my permanent shooting space, which I am so excited about and I cannot wait to tell y'all more. I also finished my Disney sleeve. Check that out. And yes, I designed all of it. <laughs> and yes, VidCon was amazing. It was so perfect and I couldn't ask for anything more, anything better. <clears throat> okay, so The Lion King. The Lion King is one of my all-time favorite Disney movies ever. It is... No words. <laughs> I mean, I have a Lion King tattoo, I have a Lion King shirt, I have the Lion King on DVD and on VHS, and I have it on picture disc. So yeah, I love the Lion King. <laughs> also, the new Lion King is so good. It is absolutely gorgeous, the music is spectacular, and yeah. It's, it's great. Go see it in theaters. It is worth it seeing in theaters because it is immaculate. It's gorgeous. And James Earl Jones is in it, as well as Beyonce and Charles Gambino. Like, it's perfect. <laughs> and I honestly don't know why it took me five weeks just to make this one seven different genres. It's just, it's one movie and it's seven different genres. It's not 11 like last time. And I was on vacation for two weeks and I've just been preparing for the move, that's all. So, hey, it's here now, okay? Believe it or not, I am just one editor on this channel. The channel's me, it's just me. So, the genres we had for these trailers were horror, silent, drama, anime, film noir, nature documentary, and biblical. And yes, in the horror trailer, it's the return of the hereditary music. Oh no, run for your lives. <laughs> it's a great soundtrack and I will use it whenever I want. Thank you very much. <laughs> now in the drama trailer, I edited it to make it seem like Simba actually saw Mufasa die and he was right there. He could have reached down and saved him, but he didn't. And now he lives the rest of his life regretting the decision and thinking that his, his father's death was his fault and just carrying that dread and that guilt and just how it just wears on him and yeah it gets really emotional and I want you to know if you're going through anything like that if you're carrying dread or guilt or regret you are not alone and you can reach out to people you can reach out to a friend a parent a therapist, a teacher, somebody. It is okay to ask for help. Now the trailer that I was super excited for was the nature documentary. And who other to voice it than the one and only? Hey everybody, I am DK from the Super Carlin Brothers. You were just listening to my voice. And if you happen to like the sound of it and you want to hear more, you can check me out over at twitch.tv slash declarations. I am live three times a week. And if you just want to hear what I say, you can also follow me on Twitter. Oh my goodness, DK. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to narrate this video and you 
blew it out of the water. It is so perfect and I cannot thank you enough. It is excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny, for using me for this project. It was a lot of fun and I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Go check them out. Go show them all the love and I'll leave all those things down below. Thank you again, DK. Mwah. Hope you enjoyed that trailer. If you did, hit that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe. And remember, you can find all the links to the videos and music down in the description, including... You can also find links to get some merch, how you can become editorial of the week, and how you can support me on Patreon. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below, and let me know what other movies you want to see me make instead of any of her genres. This week's editorial is Kelsey at Daring and Dream and X. Thank you so much, Kelsey, for being part of this community. Don't forget to be creative and drink your creative tea. <laughs> Just to wrap things up, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram up here. If you want to see a trailer that YouTube thinks you like best, click over here and click down here to subscribe. And one last thank you to my editorial patrons. If you want to find out how you can get your name featured in each trailer, check out my Patreon. I love you all and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next Saturday.